Having hormone imbalances can be terrible, and if you have any hormone condition, you may be suffering from weight gain or weight loss, depression, anxiety, low libido, digestive issues, insomnia, and much more. You might have a hormone imbalance and not even know it. In today's video, I'm gonna reveal six ways you can balance your hormones naturally to stay healthy and prevent more serious health conditions. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need to line an appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com. And I encourage you to stay till the end of this video, where I'm gonna share extra tips and video links related to this topic. A lot of people suffer hormone imbalances and don't even know it. They can live their entire lives with weight problems, anxiety, depression, insomnia, and many other health conditions, thinking the reason lies somewhere else. I see a larger number of patients visit the doctor and with specific health conditions and never find the exact cause. And the truth is, that many times the reason can lie in a small hormone imbalance that's causing a great array of symptoms. Let's take insulin for example. If you have low insulin levels, you may suffer diabetes. Some of the symptoms of having thyroid imbalances can be expressed with weight gain, depression, digestive issues, etc. Low testosterone or estrogen levels is seen in low sex drive or menstrual irregularities and so on. The list of symptoms goes on and on. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal six ways you can balance your hormones naturally to stay healthy and prevent more serious health conditions. Number one, consume healthy fats. This first advice might sound a little strange to you, but this is because fat has been demonized for the past 30 years as a dangerous food that should be avoided, and this is not true. Over the past decades, several medical studies have proven that certain types of fat are healthy to consume on a daily basis especially foods that are high in short, medium, and long chain fatty acids. These healthy fats help keep hormones in check, and in case you didn't know this already, essential fats are fundamental building blocks of hormone production. The body needs fat to create a well-balanced hormone level. The best sources of anti-inflammatory healthy fats include coconut oil, flaxseed oil, grass-fed butter, fish oil, and avocados. Now there are, of course, bad fats or inflammatory fats you should stay away from. These are hydrogenated oils, corn oil, sunflower oil, canola, cottonseed oil, etc. Now remember that healthy fats can balance your hormone levels in more ways you can imagine. We need healthy fats to produce healthy hormone levels. Number two, avoid eating simple sugars. Simple sugars are more dangerous than you think. By simple sugars, I mean white sugar, white rice, white flour, corn syrup, basically found in any carbonated beverage, etc. And if we eat too much sugar and simple carbs, the body overproduces insulin, and in an effort to balance blood sugar constantly, we gain resistance. The problem with the overproduction of insulin is that our body can then become resistant to insulin, lessening the effect it has on the body. One of the issues with insulin resistance it's that it closely connected to other hormone imbalances and can often lead to hormone problems with cortisol, progesterone, and estrogen levels. Instead of eating simple carbs and sugars, try to enjoy a balanced, complex carbohydrate diet that includes whole grains, brown rice, whole wheat, etc. Fiber found in fruits and vegetables, healthy protein that includes grass-fed beef, organic fish, and healthy fats like olive oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, this is the best way to alleviate stress on insulin production. So remember to change your simple carbs for a healthier food alternative that can ensure you're getting important vitamins and minerals in your diet. Number three, use adaptogen herbs. Adaptogen herbs are also known to boost the immune function and combat stress. Research shows that many herbs such as ashwagandha, medicinal mushrooms, rhodiola, and holy basil can improve, for example, thyroid functions, reduce your anxiety and depression, reduce hair loss tied to hormone problems, reduce brain cell degeneration, stabilize blood sugar and insulin levels, and support adrenal gland functions, among other things. 
So you see the importance of adaptogen herbs. Ashwagandha in particular can be extremely effective in balancing hormones and ashwagandha can be used to support a sluggish or an overactive thyroid and it can help to overcome adrenal fatigue. Holy basil, another example, helps regulate cortisol levels, working as a natural remedy for anxiety and emotional stress. Many studies have shown that holy basil can also protect your organs and tissues against chemical stress from pollutants, heavy metals, which are often a factor that leads to hormone imbalances. I have an entire video on holy basil benefits if you want to take a look right after this video. Number four, exercise regularly. I've said this before, the body needs exercise to enjoy good health. And one of the most important aspects of health are hormone levels. Exercise, when done properly, can help regulate hormones in the body. If you need this, I suggest you practice low intensity exercises that might include walking, swimming, hiking, etc. If you participate in strenuous exercise, you can overactivate a branch of the autonomic nervous system in charge of elevating your sexual hormones too much, sometimes provoking an imbalance, so be careful. Research shows that higher intensity workouts like long distance running or even harsh weight training can raise cortisol levels, which later elevate stress and create an imbalance. So remember, exercise always in moderate doses. Number five, melatonin. If you're not getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night, you're not doing your body a favor. A lack of sleep or disturbing your natural circadian rhythm can be one of the worst habits which contributes to hormone imbalances. So if you're not sleeping correctly, I suggest you supplement yourself with melatonin. I can't stress this enough. Melatonin can be used to improve sleep quality, regulate the circadian rhythm, which is our biological clock, by the way, decrease negative feelings associated with anxiety, reduce stress, and help balance out hormone levels. Sleep helps keep those stress hormones balanced, builds energy, and allows the body to recover properly. Poor sleep is linked to higher levels in morning cortisol, decreased immunity, trouble at work performance, anxiety, weight gain, and even depression. To maximize your hormone function, ideally try to go to bed by 10 p.m. and stick to a regular sleep-wake cycle. Melatonin is important because it tells the body when it's time to rest and when it's time to be active during the day. But most importantly, regulates hormone release at each specific time of your day. I've seen most of my patients see great relief with melatonin use because it gives you that state of happiness, restfulness, and well-being overall. I recommend looking for good quality melatonin you can take at night when you go to bed. Sublingual form is the best. When you put that pill under your tongue, melatonin goes straight into your bloodstream without being digested, making it have a better effect and action. I recommend it, truly helpful. Number six, stay away from emotional imbalances. Our emotions play a key role in hormone regulation and they have a direct impact on that person's health condition. Take women, for example. I've seen many of my patients with menstrual irregularities due to relationship issues. Some practitioners believe that emotions of fear, for example, can cause diseases to reproductive organs, kidneys, and adrenals. This can lead to serious conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome, etc. Emotions of frustration, impatience, and even unforgivingness can cause diseases to the liver, which later leads to estrogen imbalances. And emotions of worry and anxiety can cause insulin level imbalances, which can then affect several other hormones. Your emotions and hormones are connected. By working to balance one, you're impacting the other. So if you're feeling stressed, angry, agitated, resentful, or even fearful, try to understand that emotions are affecting your hormone balance and can lead to bigger health issues. How about the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlandivar.com. I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're gonna to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.